Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today I am going to explain to you some features we have added in the generate alert section. So pick my trade is a platform which helps you to trade with TradingView. We allow you to automate your trade with the help of TradingView indicator or strategy. Like that, there are several strategies and indicators which help you to make a good and profitable trade. So there are basically three kinds of alerts, buy, sell, and close. So if I select the buy, then whatever alert is going to get generated will enter into a buy trade. So what buy trade do, if there is any sell position open, or any open order is present over in the system? It will close that position and if there is any open order, then it is going to get cancelled. And the buy trade is going to get placed. Same for the sell here, if there is any open order of buy then it is going to get cancelled, and if there is any open position it is going to get close. Now the last one is close, here in close, the close will only close all the open positions present there in the system, and if there is any open order it is going to get cancel out, and will not open the new position. Now let's see the another component here which is the entry order type. We have limit order and market order. LMT is for limit orders, and MKT is for market orders. You can select as per your choice. So here is a feature we have added in this section where it would ask you cancel entry limit order if did not get filled in seconds. So what it is doing, let's say if you pass 5 here, then here limit order is going to get placed, and if the order is not get filled in the time, the order is going to get cancelled and it will not enter into the position anymore. But if you pass 0 over here, so it will not going to get cancelled until and unless user manually cancel or it get filled. Next, we have a quantity type section here, where there are two types, quantity and risk percentage. Quantity is like absolute quantity, where you select how many contracts you want to select. Risk percentage is like how much percent of your account you have to risk. Let's say your account value is 10,000, and you pass the risk percentage as 1, so 1% 1 of 10,000 is $100. So you are going to risk $100 here. Now let's say your entry price is $100, and your stop loss is at 99, so at one lot you get a loss of $1. So if you are trading for NQ, its lot size is 20, so the loss you get is $20, so basically we are going to place trade for 5 lot, because 100 divided by 20 is equal to 5. If the value of quantity comes less than 1, then it will not place the trade. Here we have two stop loss types. One is stop loss, and another one is trail stop loss. So here are the changes. Earlier we have only three stop loss types, but now we are having five. So I will explain them one by one. Let's start from the bottom. So first is total loss. So here it asks you to enter total loss value in USD for one contract. Let's say you enter into a buy trade and your entry price is $100, and your stop loss is $95. Let's say we are trading in NQ, and the lot size is 20. So what it would do, it will set the stop loss as 95. So whenever there is a $5 loss on NQ, then the complete loss is going to come to $100. And same for take profit, and if I put $200 here, and in this I have to select the symbol as well. So I will select here NQ1, and then click on generate alert. So here you can see, here set dollar is set to 5, and dollar TP is set as 10. So that's how it's going to work. So next we have ticks. So if you notice, whatever tick value I am going to pass, the take profit is going to be same. So if I put 5 ticks here and 10 ticks here, and if I click on generate alert, and here dollar TP and SL is going to get adjusted accordingly. So here is the calculation. So 1 tick is of 0.25 cent, and I want 5 tick away. So 5 into 0.25 is 1.25, and 0.25 into 10 is 2.5. Tick size differs for different symbols, so this is how it's going to get calculated. Then we have a price, in price we are going to pass the absolute value, whatever value you want to pass. So basically it is going to accept trading view variable. Then we have the percentage. So let's take an example. Your entry get filled at $100, and you set 1% stop loss and 1% take profit. So 1% of $100 is 1, so the stop loss is going to get placed on 99, and take profit is going to get placed on 101. Now, we have dollar, so many people are confused about this dollar, so here we have mentioned, this amount would be added or subtracted from the entry fill price. So if I place here $5, and your entry price is 100, so here your take profit is going to be 105, and your complete loss will be 5 into 20, where 20 is a lot size of NQ. So one important thing is, in stop loss type, for price, dollar, and percentage, it is not going to ask you for the symbol, because we don't want tick size. But for ticks and total loss, it is going to ask you to select the symbol. Otherwise, it will show you an error. Next, we have the trail stop loss, which I have already explained in the video, so I will put the link in the description. 
One more thing to explain is, as we learn all those fields, we have one more feature, where we can add multiple accounts. We can use add account sections in two cases. The first one is, if you want to copy a trade into specific account, you have to use the add account feature. Just click on yes, then click on add account, and it will show all your accounts which are connected with Tradivate. Select the account you want to place a trade in. Put one in quantity multiplier, and save changes then generate alert. So whenever alert will come, it will going to place in this particular account. And if I added one more here, then it will get placed at those two accounts. And if I don't pass any account here, then it would select the latest account here. The second case would be, so basically, let's say you are good in trading and your friend request you to, will you automate my account? So this feature is very useful here. Just what you need is, is pick my trade token and the account name in which you have to automate the trade. Just click on add account. Let's say my token is this and my account name is APE001 and in quantity multiplier I will put 1 and save changes. Next, let's put my friend's token like this and his account name may be APE002. Same in quantity multiplier we will put 1 and save changes. Click on generate alert. So in that way it will create an alert for you. Just click on copy code, go to indicators, let's search for MACD, here I go to create alert, select the MACD in the symbol, in triggers, select once per bar close, I paste the code here, and make sure this tick mark is present there. So in the notification, I will go to pick my trade, I will put the webhook URL from this section, click on it and it gets copied, and pasted over here. Now click on create alert. So as you can see the alert is created. And whenever this alert comes, it will show me in the trading view log section. So when your alert comes, it will be displayed in the pick my trade alert section. And here you will get to know if your order gets placed or not.